or just a regular person, even though Bill, Bill Nye said he was denied being an astronaut, you can go up in space now if you have a lot of money, right? When um, there's a couple of companies that are going to be flying people suborbital of Virgin and Blue, um, and for several hundred thousand dollars, so it's quite a bargain, you can have a suborbital experience where you would go up, you'd experience four or five minutes of microgravity, and you'd see the Earth, a beautiful view of the Earth, and then come back down. And so that's sort of the low ticket price right now, and I believe those two companies are hoping to fly in the next year or so. When do you think we'll see a lot of people and not just really rich people going into oh, space? That's really a hard question yeah. because um, it's all about the, loss, the launch costs. And there's several companies who are working on reusability to try and bring the launch costs down. But think about it. If you have to build your car every time you want to drive to the grocery store and then you throw your car away, and then to go to the grocery store the next day you build another car, that's really not cheap, right? And so we're doing that with spacecraft. And so we really have to get and I, I hesitate to use the word routine, but we have to get into a much, uh, much more high rate of cadence of launches before costs come down, which would lower the price. I mean, are we going to see advertisement on the side of rockets to lower the cost? <laughs> well, that doesn't lower the cost. That just provides money from some other avenue to help pay for it. Right. You know, one of the things I think it's important to reflect on this year of all years is, um, as you see some, from some of these clips, we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Apollo missions, um, just this last several weeks, Apollo 7, Apollo 8, as we move towards Christmas. You know, we went in eight years from having not enough infrastructure, not knowing how to do it, to putting humans on the moon. So when we say, how long is it going to take for space tourism, I think it depends on the will and the investment, and yeah. can we bring the cost down? I think it's totally possible we could see it in the next couple of decades if there's a will and if there's the investment. If we could put a man on the moon in eight years, I would argue we can do anything we put our minds to. I and agree. One little measure is the number of people that volunteered for the one-way trip to Mars, uh, which is really <laughs> remarkable. Anyone in your district? <laughs> Actually, yeah. One, and, uh, <laughs> It, I one don't woman, recommend that. And she was married and she had stepchildren. We figured she probably didn't have a good relationship with her stepkids. <laughs>